What is going on guys and welcome to YouTube. Uh, this is going to be day three of 100 days to mastering Python. Um, and again, starting off slow, starting off simple, keeping it clean and easy for you guys. Uh, but it's going to build up and it's going to build fast and it's going to, it's going to go quick. Um, so please, um, code, 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 code every damn day. Only way you're going to get good at this stuff. So for today's example, um, giving a, an integral number of n, so giving any kind of integer of n, we want to create a, a dictionary and then have a function that is going to create a dictionary that's going to have essentially a key value, key with the number and then a value being the square of that number. Um, and any integral is a number assigned to a function. Um, that's all we're going to be utilizing today. So the number that's being assigned to the function is kind of like the key value. So the key is the number and then the integral is that number assigned to the function, which is what we're going to do, which is going to be multiplication or essentially the square of that input number. So with all that said, let's get to it. So I already have the debugger ready to run. I'm going to F8 through this first piece. And we can see over on the right hand side here in the console, it says enter in a number. So I will comply. I'm going to put in six. I will hit enter and I'm going to go back to my going through. So now we have for the variable n, we they have an integer input of six. So now in memory space, we have integer six. And the next line, uh, D, is going to be an empty dictionary. So nothing special about that. Now you'll notice that D, and it even shows you the curly brackets, that D is going to be a dictionary, so we know our type is appropriate. Now we have 4i in range 1, comma, so our starting value is going to be 1, and then we're going to go up to, but not including, n plus 1. So our n is 6, so we know now that our, our, range, our function here, 4i in range, is going to go from 1 to to six, even though it's, it would look like one comma seven. Again, we don't include the last number. So it's gonna start with number one. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna see now memory space, we have I equals to one. So now for um, D, which if you look up above, D is our dictionary, it's our empty dictionary. Now we're saying D, we wanna have it be number one. So D one equals, so the key is going to be one for this first part of the dictionary. And then the value is gonna be one times one. So what we should see show up populate in space, in which we do see up in our, now in our dictionary. Uh, you can see over here in, in purple. Uh, now D, the dictionary, has key 1, value 1. So that's appropriate. So now we're going to F8, and we should go to 2. So now we have I equals to 2. So dictionary uh, uh, key of 2 is going to have a value of 2 times 2. So we get 2, 4 for the next piece in our dictionary. And now we're going to go to 3, and you guessed it. 3 times 3 is 9. And then we're still going through our, our, our range because the conditions are still being met as, as true. We haven't gotten into a false yet. F8. Now we have 4 and 16. Now we're stuck with 5. 5 and 25. We're going to have 6. 6 is 36. And we're not going to go to 7 because, again, the range is 1, 7 because 6 plus 1 is 7. And we're stopping at, uh, we don't include 7. So now it can go to the next execution line of code, which is going to be print d which is printing the dictionary so now in the right hand side of our console we have a dictionary that we just created using a for loop going through a range um now again our the function we utilized the an integral is a number assigned to a function so we did the integral the the n which we use six and then the function was just squaring it so your function could have been anything but this is you're going to utilize this a lot when we get into machine learning and deep learning when we're doing different matrix multiplications uh, or, or matrix um, manipulations rather because you're assigning a function sometimes extreme functions to integers um, and this is just a nice way to create uh, a dictionary of that so that we have a key and the key has an assigned value now the order is not going to matter per se but as long as in our example here as long as any time we called a uh, dictionary of two we get four and every time we call a dictionary of four we get 16 um, so we're, when we call the key, we get the value. That's that's the most important part. Um, so again, take the code, write the code, play with it, mess with it, break it, um, learn it. This is day three, so go back and make sure you're doing day one, two again, and do day three. And I will see you guys here for day four, for 100 days of uh, becoming a Python master. Take it easy, guys.